In today's To Your Wellbeing, what you need to know about COVID vaccines. Pharmacy Dr. Deanne Brooks is the Chief Pharmacy Officer at Cone Health. Uh, and so we are now getting to her and talking to her about all things vaccine. So who can currently get the COVID-19 vaccine? Because lots of people want it. Uh, yes, lots of people do want the vaccine and that's it's a really good problem to have right now because we know that this is how we will end this pandemic and that is vaccinating a lot of people in our community. So the people who can get the vaccine right now are healthcare workers who are fighting COVID-19 and treating patients with COVID-19 and all of the things that, that support all of that work as well, including people who are part of the vaccination effort right now. And this week, our state opened up phase 1B, group one, of our prioritization framework. And that means that anyone who is 75 years old or earlier, or excuse me, 75 years or older can receive the vaccine. And so we started our first vaccine clinics over the weekend on Saturday, and we will continue them through this week. And we had a lot of people who wanted to get those appointments so much that in fact they closed very quickly and we opened more up and we still need to increase our capacity which we are doing very swiftly all right so this is going to be an ongoing thing that this is the first group and then it's going to continue on for the next several months throughout the end of the year so for community members let's talk about like what the process is so if they are able to get this particular um vaccine this time this time around this week how is it working so that they'll know how is it working that they'll they'll get the vaccine in the next time, Tanya? Well, no, how is the process working? What is it like when you come in? What does, do you have to wait in your car? How does this all work? Yeah, gotcha. So the way it's working right now at our Green Valley Clinic is that patients make an appointment and they arrive on site and we have team members who are helping them park and helping them out of their cars to come into the building. And once they come into the building, it is a four step process. The first step is that we sign them up um, in the state system, system, which is the COVID vaccine management system. And once they sign up in that system, then we check them in to our electronic health record, which is my chart. And then step three is the really exciting part, and that's where they actually receive the vaccination. And then step four is that we observe our patients for at least 15 minutes so that we can just see if they have any uh, um, side effects to the vaccine. Very few do, but we do observe them for 15 minutes at least. Mm -hmm. And then after the vaccine is given and they go home, there is still follow up. Yes, there is. So there is actually a, um, a smartphone based tool that's called the VSAFE tool and patients and recipients of the vaccine can sign up. It's an online tool and we get reminders. And if we have any side effects that, that tool, the tool doesn't check in with us, of course, but we'll get a reminder either through email or on our smartphone. And we can say, hey, I had a little bit of nausea after my first dose, or I had a little bit of headache out of after my second dose. And we also get reminders from the VSAFE as well as from the COVID vaccine management system with the state. Mm -hmm. I just wanted people to be aware that once you get that first dose, it's not like there's crickets there. They want to know how you're feeling day to day so that we we can really chronicle this and be able to have some study information for it. Okay, so let's address common myths when it comes to the vaccine. Now that people are getting vaccinated, do people still have to wear their masks and social distance from one another? Yes, we do. It's very important that we continue to wear our masks 
social distance, wash our hands. And that's very important for us to continue as we eradicate this pandemic. Um, what we don't know about the vaccine just yet is, is, is it possible for us to actually be able to be exposed to it and then possibly expose someone else, even though we don't get sick from it because we would then have antibodies in our system that keeps us from being sick. But what we don't know is if we can potentially transmit it after we've received the vaccine. All right, so there's that time in between and so that is what you're talking about. And that's why we need to make sure that we're continuing to do all of these things. All right. So this is a common question that we get. Can the vaccine give you COVID-19? No, the vaccine cannot give you COVID-19. It doesn't contain any infectious particles at all um, that would give you um, COVID-19. It actually is new technology that is used. Now, there uh, a lot of our vaccines actually do contain either killed or inactivated um, portions of a virus, and that's what makes our bodies create the antibodies, but this vaccine does not. And then the next follow-up question is, does the vaccine affect our human DNA? <laughs> no, it does not. It, um, it actually does not get into the nucleus of the cell. It is innovative technology that we have actually been studying for over 10 years, and it uses something that's called messenger RNA technology. And it has a little bit of the, the, the messenger RNA of the spike protein on the COVID-19 virus. So if you've seen those pictures of the COVID-19 virus, oftentimes you see these little red spike things around the spherical virus. And this mRNA vaccine, both the Moderna and Pfizer are this technology. They have a little bit of that code the genetic code that's wrapped inside particles that then when it's injected into our body, it releases a little piece of that spike protein, but it doesn't make us sick. It, it stimulates our bodies to create antibodies that then attack that protein. And then if we're exposed to the virus, our antibodies come and will it will uh, attack that spike protein as well and keep us from getting sick. Okay, we're going to continue on with questions that you have about the COVID vaccine. And so the way that you get your questions answered in the next several segments is by texting us your questions. The number is 336-379-5775. We'll be right back.